confidence coming into this season must be pretty high. Definitely, everybody, you know, that's the, one of the main things that the coach makes sure that um, everybody has the confident level, whether you're starting or coming from the bench. You always make you feel confident and comfortable within um, our style and our, our idea. Leon Bailey, Jamaica clean slate. Deserved or undeserved? Join Premier 7 right now for the big chat. Sometimes in life, you're not always given a second chance. But if you do, take advantage of it and go out with a bang. This is a top class quote written by Aquaria, as this speaks directly to our own Jamaican footballer in Alien Bailey. Welcome, welcome, welcome to you all on Premier Seven's platform. I am your host, Ryan Nelson. It is absolutely an amazing day, and I think I would love for you all to have a feeling of what is taking place right now at this particular point in time. As you can see, people, I am beating a scarf. It is absolutely Jamaican-like. And I mean, I have to give a big shout out to my friend, my dear -o, my friend -o. I'm just making up some names here. Shanice, who has made the relentless effort to get this amazing scarf done. And people, I am loving it. The name of the scarf is called Reggae Scarf. And if you like it, then I think you should absolutely subscribe to Premier 7. The thing is, I love this scarf so much till I have to say, Selector, is it because the scarf bad? Me a big yo. Drop a bang, no man. Over time, over time. Life enjoyment. Skate for it all for a tour. Yo, yo. Work fast, phone up, vacation start. Swag that 2018 Balashan. Try not to recruitment, a big one. Drive up the business, complete style. Put the one over time, do it time. Life enjoyment, get funny tools, fast traffic like free funny road, get a detail. Expensive life, ready for a nice reservation. Orange PNP. Addy, free pony road, 13 years, it's a clean slate. And this even links up with the fact that Jamaica Leon Bailey has received his clean slate. I don't think this is a fresh news to you. However, this presentation is new to you. And I just want to point out to you right away that the topic is Leon Bailey, Jamaica clean slate, deserved or undeserved? I have to always say a special shout out to you, the fans of Premier 7, because this topic was generated from the poll that states, with coach Steve McLaren giving Leon Bailey a clean slate, do you believe he will be better than before? 244 votes, 73% says yes, 23% says not sure, and 5% says no, with 14 likes and 6 comments. People, so far, so good. That proves to me that the clean slate is more so a deserved opportunity for Leon Bailey. And not all persons in this life do deserve a second chance. But for the Jamaica men's national team, I believe with the input of Elaine Bailey clicking under a new regime, I think it will be amazing for him. But 
I am going to dive down a bit more into such, and I want to bring across the news that was being published in the Observer. Let's see a recap, right? To reflect on Leon Bailey's importance. So in that time, it stated that McLaren urges Bailey to bring Villa Farm to Jamaica. We know that Leon Bailey is one of the best players right now for the Aston Villa team. And seeing that he is not injured again, it is an amazing thing. So the news upon recap stated that Reggae Boys head coach Steve McLaren is urging winger Leon Bailey to bring the same form to the national team as he has shown for Aston Villa in the English Premier League where he has become one of the top players in the England's top division. Bailey 27 has not played for the Reggae Boys since November 2023 due to a suspension from former head coach Hamerald Grimson and a self-imposed break during which he declined a call up for Copa America in June. We know that this news is not what is taking place right now but I am highlighting the importance of the clean slate that Leon Bailey deserved or undeserved. I think within that time, Leon Bailey was going through a phase of, you know, injuries and underperformance and, you know, people weren't happy. I wasn't happy as a regular boys fan. And I think with what was taking place with Bailey and the JFF, I, I wouldn't say that anyone is right for reacting in a way that isn't the rightful way. And we can go back to that time of Leon Bailey doing the interview when he was suspended. But the greatest thing right now is that coach Steve McLaren would love for him to bring the farm to the national team. And we know that he was injured in recent days, but he has recovered seeing that Aston Villa needs him for the Champions League, whereas they defeated Young Boys 3-0 yesterday. And Leon Bailey was injured. I spoke about Jacob Ramsey. He scored. And Jamaica would love to even get in a Jacob Ramsey. Just imagine how beautiful it would be if we have the Jacob Ramsey and Leon Bailey from Aston Villa representing the Jamaica men's national team. I mean, it is not hard to say that they would perform. But what would be hard is to know how well they will perform. And because we have a Leon Bailey in our team, we want the best for him. So, people, I just want to just dive into this part. Does he deserve the clean slate? And will his performance hit the high? For me personally, he deserves a clean slate. Um, he's a talented player, no doubt about that. He's a player that I think he reflects on his performance. Yes, forget about the claim that he's hype and he's boasty and he's all for himself. I mean, he deserves to live his life, but we want to stick to Leon Bailey on the football pitch. Because, I mean, he deserves to receive his highlight for all the goods that he has done for Jamaica. And that is something for which somewhat erase the bad things. But once we're speaking about football, it is all about football. The reason for the fact that he deserves a clean slate Jamaica has done well in the previous game, you know, because we obtained a three point. We did not play to the best that I was thinking. We received the three points, having had a very difficult game in Honduras, who played as if they were ranked above us. But Leon Bailey presence would have done a difference. And we know how Leon Bailey plays. He likes to cut in, he likes to dribble he likes to pass he likes to shoot from a cut in if we can get that leon bailey under a steve mclaren then it will even bring or attract other players in wanting to play for jamaica like the foreign based players and this says no that it will bring that recognition that jamaica would have and sorely deserve in the world of football seeing that our name is so popular in sports we need to bring up ourselves in the football. And I think Leon Bailey is a man. I won't say he's the only person that should do that, but because he's that man who 
have the highest prestige being a Jamaican. It would look so good for him to be like a Lionel Messi type of image or impact playing for Jamaica. Seeing that Messi was only called a club baller way back then, but when he really and truly stepped up the pace for Argentina in the World Cup, winning the Copa America, beating Italy in a, in a, in a new competition in a final as well, it shows that things and times do change and persons deserve a clean slate. Persons can become very frustrated and want to retire, leave the game, hang up their shoes, but when they're young and still have that ability, I think Leon Bailey deserves that. At the age of 27, scoring about 10 goals last time for Arsenal in excess of 30 Premier League games, I think this guy on good form, in his best shape, would do amazing work. The Champions League is something that he wants to play in. He gets his chance. And long and behold, his performance would do wonders for Aston Villa. And I think he even wanted to play back for Jamaica, but he was at a stage of frustration. And for his performance, I, am, I cannot say that it will hit the high, but I think it needs to hit the high, seeing that he's coming down the line, 28, 29, hitting the prime age. Experience that demand that work that he deserves to put in, that confidence, if all goes well for Leon Bailey, I think he will hit that new height. But it cannot be something for which I can guarantee because I can be a good footballer and not all games I will click. But, you know, the thing is, when we're performing well, consistently, in and out of our national team's color, it proves that if we do slip up, if we do falter a few times, the fans will not jump in our backs. Many persons love N'Golo Kante. And when he fails at times, the fans pampers him. The fans believe. And if he is not good enough, they will say, all right, I love Kante. I respect Kante. But it is time to go in a respectful manner. And that is what we want for Leon Bailey. If all goes well for Bailey, then he will be that man who can lead Jamaica, not with the arm, but I would say, but by way of recognition and a cultural base to the World Cup of 2026 with a bang. I would love to see Jamaica qualify because we have not the World Cup qualifiers coming up on October the 10th. We're going to play the, I think the Nations League. I would love to have Bailey in that team and that could trigger the recruitment process for a Mason Greenwood and others. I would love to see Jamaica have a Dujon Sterling as well and others, but things do take time and when we have the opportunity to make the best of who we have right now in our team then we have to make sure that they are okay no one is bigger than the jamaica men's national team but it all starts from leading at the top and that is what we want for jamaica from now and beyond so people what is your say on the topic leon bailey jamaica clean slate deserved or undeserved for me he deserves the clean slate and you know of course it is for you to have your say it is time for me to go take care goodbye until we meet again